Hello and welcome to another episode. I feel so dramatic about that. That was very dramatic. <laughs> it was. Hello. 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 And welcome to another episode of Whisker Fire TV. I am your host, Jez, and here is what we have this evening. So, um, tonight, this, this bottle is so odd, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Like, having it that way doesn't feel like the front, but it is, because the writing is, like, on the side. Um, but before I wrap it on, I've got a bottle of Wild Turkey Cornerstone Rye from the Master's Keep Master's Keep variety. Um, so this is made by obviously Wild Turkey, part of the Campari group. Um, it's a rye whiskey consisting of 52% uh, rye, 36% um, corn and 12% malted barley. So all of that mashed up, strained out into a beautiful looking bottle. So this thing is uh, 54.5, so it's 109 proof, um, which is gonna be super exciting. It's the fourth one in the Master's Keeps series released August 2019? That's not right. Maybe in the US, August 2019. Um, but it was only released March this year. So I've got my hands on it. Just waiting until payday so I can splurge on this beautiful looking bottle. Uh, comes in a fancy display case as well. Case? Case? I'm not sure. Box. Um, like awesome writing on the front. Open it up. Normally there'd be a, a bottle in there, but today there's not. So that's that. Um, what can I tell you about it? Other than what I've already told you, not much. I know fingerprints smear on the bottle rather easy. But yeah. That's about it. Um, yeah, it's basically an 11 year old uh, whiskey uh, is what they can actually say but it's um, it's aged for a minimum of 9 years all the way up to 11 I take it's blended back then to make this perfect flavour but I'm keen to hook in actually there's a little bit of writing inside but nothing different to what I normally go through with you guys anyway. Uh, it's just saying, it's just talking about the rye whiskey and saying it's normally aged for about four years, but since it's a one of a kind, limited edition, he's handpicked a set and set it aside a secret lot oldest and boldest rye whiskey barrel that's aged from nine to 11 years. And then he's made it into this delicious flavour, so I'm keen to hook in. So let's pour myself a glass. So just looking at it in the general bottle design, like this thing, this little um, bottle stopper is heavy. Um, it looks like it's made out of like wood, it's got your cork seal, uh, it's metal on top. I want to hold that up the right way for you guys so you can see it. It's super fancy. Um, Good pour. Oh, to get a bit of a sniffy sniff on that one too, because oh, you get those rye notes straight away, which is what you'd be hoping for. All right, give it a bit of a swell. Time to aerate. So you're getting those rye notes, you get those vanilla notes on the nose straight away. Rather toasty too. So let's hook in, get a taste.
Okay. That's pretty good. Super smooth. So, for um, 109 proof, um, it is absolutely smooth. Like, there's no a little bit of the Kentucky hug there, but nothing more than what I was expecting. So, the flavors are rather like they're lingering actually. I normally reach for a glass of water and try again, but I'm pretty confident with this one. So, peppery on the... Okay, now I need water. Okay. So, just peppery up the very front of the tongue. Um, getting a lot of apple notes, so rather fruity. Maybe some cinnamon in there as well. And then I'm also getting that, that toasted rye um, that reminds me of, like, the Mictas, um American rye as well, so overall, like, super happy with it for what it is. I'm gonna just take another sip here. See if I can get anything new out of it. No, just plenty of apple coming through, um, which is rather surprising because I was expecting um, maybe like a heavier rye, but at the same time, it's like barely legal rye with a 52% uh, rye mash bill. So in saying that, it's $249 that I picked up from Uptown Liquor, which I forgot to mention at the start. So that's my bad, um, but yeah, hundred uh, sorry, two hundred and forty nine from Uptown um, I'm slightly disappointed because I'm gonna polish off this bottle and knowing it's a limited release, I'm like, uh, I really wish I could have gone for some more, but it definitely is one for the collection um it's a a sipper for sure, um like I'd probably. I'd probably serve myself two of these and like not even realize. So, um, absolutely delicious stuff. Um, I would rate it, yep. Uh, it's 175 in the US, so we've got a pretty good conversion rate on it at the moment for the import anyway. So, uh, but yeah, that that's me done. That's my review of the Wild Turkey Must Keep Cornerstone uh, definitely head down to either Uptown Liquor is where I pick this one up from. They've got, I know they've got stock of it, um, but anywhere else because it is a limited release. So get your hands on it while you can. Anyway, that's me done. Um, stay tuned to the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. Stay thirsty, Australia.